this problem. All right. So following back through my rule, we talked about our rule of equality with exponents. Then we started talking about, well, if I have log base b of x equals log base b of y, then also we know that x is going to equal y. So in this equation, Wendy, what we're looking at is I noticed that I have log base 3 of x squared minus 15 is equal to log base 3 of 2x. Now by applying this rule, what can I say is equal to one another? The log. Right. x squared minus 15 is equal to 2x. So if you can cancel the Right. So now we look at this. And usually, a lot of times, x, you don't need to solve for your x's, right? Right? You just solve for x's. But in this case, can you get an x by itself? No. This is a quadratic. So when we have quadratics, we worked on getting them to the same side, right? So I'll subtract the 2x. Therefore, I have x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Now, we have a quadratic. We talked about in this class a couple different ways to solve quadratics. We could try to factor it. We could try completing the square. Or we could also try the quadratic formula. Well, before you automatically go into the quadratic formula, let's see, can we factor this out? The reason why factoring is so helpful because, yes, great. If I factor it to x minus 5 times x plus 3, which is correct, now I can apply the zero product property. This times this equals 0. Therefore, x minus 5 equals 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. And I can quickly find my answers. Therefore, I can quickly find my answers if x equals 5 or x equals negative 3. OK? So do you guys see how when you have a logarithm with the same base on different sides?